What's going on guys? Welcome back to Destination d -Row. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on this cordless battery operated Ryobi lawnmower. So I've had battery operated lawn equipment before um, and you know a lot of times the, the power is just not as strong as gas powered. So we're going to put this to the test and really uh, give an honest review of this product. I bought this at Home Depot for about $260. Uh, I believe it was marked down from 285 but it's certainly in the mid twos um, and I believe Lowe's has it as well. So uh, Ryobi is a, is a solid brand, but again, battery operated lawn equipment sometimes can be eh. So um, we'll see if the technology is there and we'll check it out. All right, so a couple of features right off the bat. It's a 20 inch blade. It's, uh, it's promoting gas like power. So we'll see, we'll be the judges of that. So it's a 40 volt lithium battery um, that's rechargeable. So it says here that it has six hours of battery so the lawnmower can also be folded up so it's easy for storage. It's got a height adjustment lever that's supposed to be easy. So we'll, we'll check this out. It also comes with a five year limited uh, warranty from the manufacturer, Ryobi. So we're really gonna put this to the test because my lawn is really long and it's got a lot of weeds mixed in right now in the backyard. So um, we're really gonna see what this thing can do. See, it's a little long, thick, rough. So really see what this thing can do. By the way, while I do my yard work, I got my TV set up with some college football. I'm so happy football's back and uh, it's just good to see some sports, you know? So the product features, obviously we have the lawnmower, we have a mulch plug. So if you don't want the mulch to shoot or go into the bag, you just wanna leave it for the grass. Um, that's the bag, the mulch bag. And we have instruction manual and we have our rechargeable 40 volt battery. say this it's pretty light and uh, it almost seems kind of cheap it doesn't seem very durable with the plastic I mean these tires these tires are like the uh, the hard plastic that you find on like your um, like children's vehicles like that hard kind of tire plastic uh, yeah, it doesn't seem very durable well we're gonna put it to the test for sure um, but it's definitely light it's interesting feel all right so this is the actual battery. I thought this was the battery. This is just a, an LED light that tells you if it's charged or not, or how charged it is based on this guideline. And this thing is, looks heavy duty. Um, so we gotta figure out how long to charge it. All right, so it's all plugged in. I don't know if you can see this, but this little light is blinking green. So I think um, we're in the charging stage. A uh, cool feature is it tells you when the battery is kind of no longer good. So uh, those are the settings. So we gotta give it some charge. All right, so we're gonna put the uh, battery in this compartment, this clear compartment. There's also a starter key that needs to be in here in order to start it up here. Um, you also have handle adjusters. So if you click these up, you can adjust the handle if you're a little taller or you can go down. This is your starter bar. And then when you wanna start it, you hold the bar down and you push this button. So we'll see how that works over here. We can adjust the height that we want to mow all the way down to one and a half inches up to four inches. It snaps in. Let's see how it goes. Quieter and um, you know, it's working and this is a thick grass and it's on the lowest setting and I'm really pushing the thing. Um, and it, you know, similar to a regular lawnmower, gas lawnmower, it kind of sputs out if you push it too much um, before the 
blade can really turn. If the blade's not able to turn enough, it kind of shuts off. Well, that's kind of happening right now with this guy a little bit, so I have to back it up and kind of go over it again. And as you can see, it's cutting. It's cutting low. So we'll see how much of this yard we can get done with this. cutting but I do have to back it up so I have to go and then back it up if it's that thick but again this is pretty thick this is like a lot of weed um, like grass weeds and it was pretty high and I'm mowing it low on purpose I don't care if the grass dies because it's not really good grass so I just want to test this guy oh it's got a little light see the light that's cool so we're gonna adjust it up a little bit to All right, so I've just finished. Let me show you what it looks like. So overall, this uh, lawnmower is definitely harder to push. Um, and, you know, again, the grass is very thick and, and kind of long. So I, you know, I am pushing this lawnmower. You know, you have to kind of go and then kind of back it up and, and ease into the sort of thicker grass and um, you know you really got to push it and it's 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 got a weird feel because it's not really heavy um, you know and I used to have like a self propel push lawnmower so obviously it's a little bit different than that um, it does seem you know the wheels kind of worry me a little bit I don't know how uh, sturdy the wheels are um, you know a couple times I hit the fence and I almost thought the thing was kind of broke um, but I do think it does the job for a smaller lawn Especially if you have um, less weeds, you take care of your lawn and you have like that nice thin rye grass or bluegrass or something like that. Um, this product would definitely work and be good. And if you keep on top of it and it doesn't get very long, um, this is definitely something. Um, obviously, you can avoid gasoline and oils and all that stuff. Um, and it is very simple. You just charge your battery. I don't know how long the batteries are going to last. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I just bought it. But... Um, you know, overall for a battery operated lawnmower, it's solid, but again, it's for smaller lawns, no doubt. If you have a larger lawn, um, you're gonna need, you know, a regular gas powered lawnmower or even a ride-on mower, depending on, you know, what you want. For $260, um, I would I would say it's it's okay if, if you have a smaller lawn. Um, I just hope the thing is durable. That's the only question I have in terms of physical durability, because it, it is light and it, it's kind of weird. Um, but it, it did do the job. I showed you um, how the lawn looks. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this review. Uh, don't forget to hit a thumbs up and hit that subscribe for us. We'll see you next time.